born in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, but our family moved to Wilmington, Delaware in the 1850s. It had been a lifelong ambition of mine since childhood to become a doctor, and I knew that it could be done because my cousin, Dr. Mary Wilson, had been practicing in Lancaster County for many, many years. I entered college and graduated from the Wesleyan Female College in the city, and the following year went on to medical school at the Women's Medical College in Pennsylvania. When I graduated in just three years, I became the first female doctor in Delaware. I practiced in Wilmington, from my office on West Street. It took a while for people to get used to the idea of a female doctor, so it was not always easy in the early years, but I persevered. In 1909, I helped found the Wilmington Physicians and Surgeons Hospital. I should speak a few words about the epidemic of 1918, which killed many people. It happened fast. By September, there were between 400 and 2,400 cases. The Board of Health was so concerned they closed down many gathering places. And unfortunately, many young people were most affected. Now, you may think that this is enough accomplishment for one lifetime, but I was by no means finished. Over my years of practice, I had seen the ravages that alcohol had taken on families in my case. And I knew that women's suffrage was the easiest way to enact prohibition. And that is why I became involved. I joined the Delaware Equal Suffrage Association and became its president from 1914 to 1916. We were a less radical organization than the National Women's Party. But I feel that we did our part to help bring the vote to women. I helped many people over the 50 years that I was a physician and a suffragist. I feel I did my part. <laughs>